As you can tell in the title bar below, today I am going to give you my review on the Clarisonic Mia 2. Now, my Mia 2, let me introduce you to her. This is my beautiful little bad boy. I don't know what kind of print this is, but it just looks so artsy and so creative. I don't know, it's like flowers or swirly, swirly, whirly pattern. I don't, I don't. And I got mine from Ulta. This is about six inches, so you can carry this uh, in your purse, if you're traveling, your carry-on bag. It's very lightweight and easy for you to carry and take with you to use if you're going out of town, if you're sleeping over somewhere, uh, whatever the case may be, this little girl will go with you anywhere. So for Mother's Day, I decided to get the Mia 2. The Mia 2 Clarisonic is available in most department stores. So I saw her in Macy's, Nordstrom's, I've seen the Clarisonic uh, at Sephora, and I purchased mine at Ulta. This is the box that it comes in. When you open it, it has some informational stuff about her. I'm gonna open the box and show you guys what it comes with. She came with this cute little carrying case. This is like a Tiffany blue. Sorry that my camera is not picking up the true color, but this is what it looks like. And the beautiful Mia 2 just slips right on in there so it's very easy to carry with you wherever you may or may not be going inside it comes with a charger now this is a different kind of charger because it just magnetically grabs on to the handle you must charge your Mia 2 for a complete 24 hours before you use it it comes with this informational what is this a pamphlet and in this pamphlet it talks about how you use it what parts of your face how many seconds what parts of your face <laughs> you're gonna use it all over your but face but it breaks down like um, how many seconds to use the Mia 2 on what parts of your face and it also comes with a cleanser I just use the cleanser that I normally use for my face Okay, because it was Mother's Day when I got my Mia 2, it came with this cute little traveling bag that I do not carry my Mia 2 in because I don't really travel as much, but I use to carry, I use it to carry like my toothbrush, uh, hand sanitizer, girly stuff, lotion, a mirror, my tweezers, and then I just throw this in whatever handbag I'm wearing, uh, whatever handbag I'm carrying for that week. Inside my traveling bag it came inside the handbag came another brush head With the Mia 2 it comes with a brush head and it just Detaches like this and attaches like this It also comes with a like a cover for the brush head and as you can see the cover has like little holes in it did I say that this was well worth the $150? If I didn't, or if I did, I'm saying it again. This was so well worth the $150. So again, it comes with a free brush head. And the brush head that both of these come with is for sensitive skin. Now I don't have sensitive skin and I've been meaning to go to Ulta to get another brush for my face. And I think it comes in four or five different brush heads. So this one is sensitive that it comes with. Now when you're using your Mia 2, you need to charge it, like I said, for a full 24 hours. I use my Mia 2 once a day and it's only at night with my nighttime routine. <laughs> this bad boy right here helps exfoliate your face, gets all the grime, the dirt, and the dead skin off your face. So this is phenomenal. 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 Okay, so moving on to my nighttime routine. So before I use the Mia 2, I know some people will just use makeup wipes to wipe off your makeup and jump right onto the Mia 2. I personally 
what may work for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me so let's just get that out there right now for me personally I like pre-washing my face before I use the Mia 2 so I will get a little cleanser and water after I wipe off my face with my makeup wipes I'll get some cleanser and some water and pre-wash my face then while it's still wet I will take my Mia 2 and put a little more cleanser on there and work it into my face get all the gunk and dirt and um, dead skin off my face with the Mia 2 and then I'll rinse and then do the rest of your routine for the nighttime. I can't believe I went for so long with my night routine not using the Mia 2. Like seriously, you guys have to try this. And then when you try it and then you feel the difference um, on your face, you'll be like, yes! So in the pamphlet it says uh, 20 seconds on your forehead, 20 seconds on your chin, and nose area 10 seconds on your cheek 10 cent 10 seconds on your cheek the first two times when I used it on my forehead because it says to use it on your for your forehead first so when I used it on my forehead the soap and like all the stuff was like coming into my eye by the time I got to my cheeks I was like doing it with my eyes closed it was just a hot mess so for me personally I know that I have three pulses before the Mia 2 shuts off. I know I'm jumping around, but just stay with me. So the Mia 2, this is the power button, and this top button is the speed button. So there are two speeds, medium and fast. I always just jump, jump to fast because I just very antsy and impatient like that, so I just kind of want to get it over with like come on let's just go so you turn it on and while you're doing your scrubbing after 20 seconds the Mia 2 will go it like pulses like can you hear it so that's what it sounds like the brush spins um, 300 Oh, can you see that I guess not but it's the brush is spinning 300 oh there are 300 uh, movements per second so that's how fast this brush is going and all you're doing is you're moving it in a circular motion on whatever section of the face that you're working on now I'm jumping back so it's 20 seconds 20 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds so it's 20 seconds, I'm around here. 20 seconds, I start moving to my cheek area. I'll go back on my nose, concentrate on my nose area and around my mouth. And then the last, the last 10 seconds, I use it on my forehead. Does that make sense? I hope I didn't lose you guys and I hope that made sense. Anyways, so that's the way that I use the Mia 2. Some people like to put it in the case, like I've seen reviews where people put it in the case and let it dry like that. Some people take the whole thing apart and leave it on the sink like that. I personally leave everything together. After I rinse off the brush head, I just snap the lid back on there and I let it sit on my counter like this. Just so if there's any leftover water, it'll come down this way versus going back in this way and getting into the handle and messing up my Mia too. So as far as the brush head, you need to change it out as in get a new brush head every three months. So I have been using her for like a month, over a month already. And um, it's perfectly fine the way that I've been storing it. I had no problems with my two, my Mia 2. If anything, it has just been such, um, it has made such a big difference in my nighttime routine and I absolutely love her. Again, you, oh. Again, you can get the Mia 2 at, I think almost any department store 
or Sephora or Ulta. I got mine at Ulta for $150. If you are debating on the $150, it is well worth it. You will not regret it. I don't know if you try it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can return it if it doesn't work for you within the first 30 days, I think. I'm not sure. Check with the store policy, but I'm telling you, you will not regret getting the Mia 2. I absolutely love her. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and if you have subscribed, subscribe again. All right. And uh, that's it for me. Hopefully this video will go up because I refuse to do this review. Refuse to do this review again. Okay, see you guys in my next video. Bye.